Trying to work is one thing that the unhappiness in a person can make a person drive to work. And up to a point, even then drive is good. But when the drive becomes excessive, it makes a person unhappy all the time. A certain amount of drive is necessary for success. But too much of that drive can give to disappointment. Because there is no end to it. Bhartru Hari in one of his very famous shlokas said, Nisho Vasti Satam Sati Desha Satam Lakshi Sahasrarepa One who has absolutely nothing with him says to himself, then I will be very happy when I get 100 rupees. Satam. Shati Desha Satam As soon as he has 100, he wants 1000. Lakshi Sahasrarepa The moment he has 1000, he wants 1 lakh. So that the horizon of our desire may keep on expanding and that will make a person unhappy. Whereas you would say, okay, what are my physical needs, what are my mental needs and I might have 5 or 10% more than that and I'm, this, is, this is within my reach. I am not wanting to have coin or diamond but a, just a decent dress is good enough for me then that is within my reach, I will remain happy. So whereas the drive to work more is also desirable, excess of the drive can uh, yeah. cause a lot of problems. There is some recent research to suggest that one need not be happy all the time. You can be unhappy some other time and it's perfectly biological and natural to do that. In fact, it balances out perfectly. The idea is to be happy most of the time but also unhappy sometimes. You know, if you if you are really happy all the time and take away all the drive to achieve anything in your life, then you will remain wherever you are. There will be no progress, there will be no achievement, and that would be undesirable. You must always have something to improve yourself a little more, five percent more, ten percent more, not two or two, three hundred percent more. Because then only you can do that. It is necessary to be happy, it is also necessary to progress. Progress is only possible if you are unhappy. And if you are happy with what you are, you can never progress. So both the sides are equally important. They must be nurtured and go further. A, a person who is happy all the time will not have any impetus to improve his growth condition at all. Is that That's not We should reach that stage at cer certain age, I guess, but may not be at the age of 25, but you know, maybe at the age of 50 or 60 or 70 or something. Mm. That you don't necessarily have to progress towards a materialistic mm. goal, but uh, you know, yeah, you progress in some other ways. Vast majority of instances, as a person becomes old, there is a delusion of poverty. It's a part of the aging process. Delusion of poverty meaning, as the man becomes old, he is convinced that he is poor. And therefore, he not, does not have any money to donate to anybody or to give it to anyone. And an old person becomes a great miser. But the young man might be able to be, he might be very generous. He will say, okay, I will I, I give you half of what I have, I learn uh, again for me. And this delusion of poverty is a very common feature in the old age. Some people even at a young age may get it. Many delusions occur at the old age, but the most common delusion in the old age is delusion of poverty. And that miserly person may not give anything to anybody, even though everybody realizes one day you have to live everything will go up. There's no point in uh, not distributing whatever you have. You know it, but still that delusion takes position. That is the reason why a great saint like Dhaneshwar. The moment he felt that he has known 
what he is inside is, he decided to live up his body, not wait till you are old. Because when you, when you become old, all kinds of, shall we say, uh, moho can keep on occurring to you when you don't want to really make the best use of your intellect or best use of your of achievements or best. Or you, we would say that if you have the money, then best is, the best donation could be the money itself. If you don't have the money, food is an equivalent of money only. You can give food to the person concerned. If you don't have anything, try and see if you, whatever knowledge you have, give it to others. And every one of us will have some knowledge which somebody else does not have. And you can give that to that person. But if you say that I don't have any knowledge and I don't have any money, you at least may have time and you may be able to give some part of your time to a person, sit with a sick person, talk to him, and give, listen to him and things like that. Oh no, but I don't even have time. In that case, the least you can do is to give respect to everybody. It doesn't matter who that person is, but you don't have to talk arrogantly to anyone and give respect to people, so that you are constantly giving. Now this, whatever you give, will give you a sense of satisfaction. Whatever you achieve might or might not give you satisfaction because there is something more to achieve always. Whereas once you give up, whatever you have, that pleasure and the thought of and that satisfaction might remain with you all your life. If you have money, and the more and more you have, there will always be a fear that you might lose it. And if you have authority, you genuinely have a fear that you might lose it. Because there is always somebody who is on top of your permitting the authority. If you have knowledge, there would be any number of people who have greater knowledge than what you have. And therefore, Satisfaction can't come by any of these. Satisfaction can come by giving. Because whatever you have, you have given, that's good enough. Least you should use to your respect, least. Then if you, uh, if you also have time, you can give time. And if you also have knowledge, you can give knowledge. And if you also have money and food, you can give money and food. It all depends upon how much you have and how much you can spare. But everybody can give respect to others, that is for sure. Because very often we see that authority, knowledge and money are the three things which make a person so aware of their possession that they don't give respect to others. Very difficult for a person who has any of the three names, somebody has all the three at the end of it. And <laughs> but uh, a person who may have no knowledge whatsoever but may have authority, then he thinks that the only way he can derive satisfaction is by insulting everybody. Same thing with money, same thing with uh, knowledge. If anybody with the slightest knowledge will say, huh, this man doesn't know anything, huh, that man doesn't know anything. And he will never say that so and so is a knowledgeable person. Because these three things take away a person's capacity to respect others.